hours, excuse me, today I am in the all natural. No makeup, in my sweats, it's Saturday morning and it is the first day of spring break. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I really want to talk about all the things that are happening in the media surrounding this coronavirus. You guys have seen it. You've seen the social media posts on Facebook and different media options that show like the empty Costco aisles and the Sam's Club aisles where all the bread is gone. And um, I'm definitely not an expert in pandemics or, or disease control or anything like that, but I really want to address it from, I guess, a business owner's perspective. First of all, the number of cases that are worldwide are one and a half times the size of the, of the school that I attended. So go Bucks, go Bucks, Ohio State University. So definitely the probability of you catching it immediately at this particular point, it's pretty low unless you have been to certain regions or you're um, in certain areas where people are more likely to have it. So from that standpoint, you know, in terms of like the empty shelves, by the time you catch it, or if you catch it, the food will probably be expired if you're buying bread or any type of perishables. But from a business perspective, over the last week, we have seen the stock market tank, right? And just this just nervousness that's in the market right now where people are just selling off their investments. And I wanna say staffers, right now, these are the times that millionaires are made, right? Because you buy low and you sell high. And um, if you are in a place that you can buy, definitely look at your options right now because these are times that are rare, that rarely come around again. And like I said, these are the times where the millionaires become millionaires. So take advantage if you can of this market. So definitely change your mindset on that. But from a leadership perspective, I only want to talk about the coronavirus because one of the decisions I had to make as a business owner, as a leader in my organization was how was I going to approach this subject in my company? And I'll be honest with you, there part of me didn't even want to approach it. Part of me wanted to go, let's just see what happens. Let's Maybe it'll be like mad cow disease or bird flu. Maybe it'll just go away and won't even come about. But then when I started thinking about it, I said, you know, you have people on your team that are watching the news. They have friends and family that are talking about this. They're seeing the empty Costco aisles and we just cannot continue to ignore the elephant in the room. And so I had a conference call with my folks and a lot, most of us, I would say 90% of us are based in our office here in Houston, Texas. And we had to have a discussion about what will we do if the coronavirus hit us today? What will we do? What will be our contingency plan? And how do I view it as a manager standpoint? And I, I, I told them, playing out, your health is my primary concern. Your health is my primary concern. And if you're sick, we don't want you here. Even though we appreciate your contributions, we don't want you here if you're sick. And luckily, about seven years ago, um, I made a decision for me personally that I was going to focus on my zone of genius. I was going to focus on my client delivery. I was going to focus on my taxation. I was going to focus on my coaching. And I was no longer going to do IT anymore. No more backing up services, servers for me. And so about, about seven years ago, we found an IT provider that allowed us to really provide them with our IT so they could host it in the cloud. They are a Intuit certified partner and they host all of our data on the cloud. So I don't have to do backups. I don't have to control any of that. They're taking care of all of that and that is their specialty and that is what they do. But what it allowed us to do is when disasters happen like hurricanes, where flooding, like we had a Memorial Day flood here in Houston as well as Harvey, it allowed our operations to continue as if nothing happened. Because our people, even though they could no longer get to the office, they were able to work from home, they were able to literally remote into the cloud from their laptops and operate and give our clients the same service as if nothing had ever happened. And so I told my, my, my team, if you are sick, if you feel that you have been exposed to this virus, do not come to work. Do not come to work. If you are well enough to work from home, you know, we have certain KPIs, certain metrics that we are able to track, then we will not ding that against you from your vacation policy. Work from home if you feel like you've been exposed. Now, one of my concerns as a business owner was what if people take advantage of this? What if everybody just says, hey, I, <coughs> my throat is itchy. I might not be able to come to work today. One of the things that's in our policy is that if you are out for three days straight and in, in any for a reason that was not pre-planned, was not approved, you will be required to bring in a doctor's note. And I told my staff, hey, if you are that sick that you have to be out for three days, I want you to get your, a doctor's note. I want, your team wants you to get a doctor's note. You should want to get a doctor's note if you're that sick. And so what we're saying is, you know, we provide the health insurance already. So take advantage of it. If you are sick and it, to the point that you have to be out for three days or work from home for three days, definitely go get a doctor's appointment. 
So staffers, um, that's just a little bit about how we're addressing the coronavirus. That's our contingency plan. I would love to hear what your contingency plan is, how you're addressing the coronavirus. And also staffers, this is a tremendous opportunity. If you have clients that may be affected by this, and if you have people that will not their, their risk of catching it will not go up because they're serving their clients, whether that's because they're serving your clients remotely or it's just a very low risk operation where there's not a lot of people in interaction and you're able to help your clients fill positions that are temporarily unavailable because their own people are out, this is a tremendous opportunity in the market. So I look forward to hearing from you and how you guys are approaching the coronavirus, how your contingency plans are in the making. And until next time, um, I will see you guys after spring break.